Hey guys, this is Mr. Hammonds. Hope y'all are doing well on uh, this Friday. Wanted to touch base with you on a couple of things. Vance and I just got out of a meeting with our CIS group and wanted to fill you in on a few details. We're going to be talking about summer school. We're going to be talking about summer PD and we're going to be talking about room inventory. So get your notepads ready and we will be um, giving you that information here in just a second. Okay, so first off, we have summer school here. In order for a student to qualify for summer school this year, they should have a grade below a 70 in either math and or reading, okay? The second criteria that would qualify them for summer school would be if their four core classes are below a 70, all right? So either uh, math and or reading below a 70, or if their cumulative average of the four core classes is below a 70, they can qualify for summer school, all right? They also can be retained by parent request. They can be retained by parent request, but parents need to understand that when they go to summer school, they could qualify to promote to the next grade level. So, Please make sure that you relay that information when you are discussing that with parents of students who may qualify for summer school. All right, thank you very much. All right, the next item on the agenda for this video is summer professional development. Please remember that summer PD expectations will be posted and we need to make sure that we are following proper PD etiquette. Okay, just because we are at home and we are uh, listening on our couch or whatever the case may be, we need to remember that when we log in, if you are not automatically muted or if your video is not automatically muted, let's say, then people can see you and hear you. All right, and there have been some interesting situations in, in some Zoom meetings that I have gone into. So please make sure that any of your discussions and background noises and any of those kinds of things um, are either away from you or that your microphone and or your video are muted. Secondly, registrations for sessions will close two business days prior to the session. There will be no wait list, so please make sure that if you see a class that you want to get into, you register for that early. There will be no wait list. Links to those sessions will then be sent to registrants one business day prior to the session. So don't freak out if you've not gotten a, if you haven't received an email stating how to get into the session, materials for the session, that will come one day within the session. So please be aware of that. Um, if any additional books or materials are included for the session, directions will be given for you on how you should go about picking up or those will be included in emails if they are digital copies. You will need to sign a receipt for the materials that you have uh, per, that you have picked up and need to return them if you end up not attending that session. All right. Um, also, no handout copies will be made. They will be included in the notes and the attachments. Um, along with that, we want to make sure that you understand that because of the situation that we are in, uh, all professional development will be digital, virtual, and so it is very important that you understand that there are fewer slots this year than there have been in years past. So you need to make sure that when you're signing up that you are aware that you only need six hours for your exchange day. So that is either going to be one six hour session or two three hour sessions. Okay. If there were two hour sessions, you can do the math. You know how many sessions that would include. So if you have signed up for more than two sessions, you need to go in and decide which one 
you can do without at this point and you need to unenroll so that other members of the KISD uh, departments can sign up for those classes also. All right. If you have any questions about that, let myself or Vance know. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Finally, we're talking about room inventories. If you are leaving, you need to make sure that you inventory everything in your classroom. If you are missing something, you need to make note of that as well. And please make sure that all of those items are either in a cabinet or stacked on the shelf in your classroom so that they can be easily um, accessed when Vance and I come in there. If you have any questions about what you should have in your room, please reach out to us and we can let you know that as well. Um, otherwise, um, you know, as long as you've got everything in there and you're only taking your stuff and leaving the stuff that belongs to KISD, then we are good. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, that's it. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out and we hope to see each and every one of you soon. Thanks, guys.